Just to introduce the setup for this lab, we're going to start with our Variac control and just make sure it's plugged into your lab bench. And then moving over here, we have our heating mantle, which needs to be plugged into your Variac control. So just make sure that's set up properly. Um, your heating mantle you can place on the ring clamp like that. So we're going to start at step two, assuming that step one has been done in the fume hood already. So step one, you're going to take your methyl salicylate and pour 15 mils of it into a 250 milliliter round bottom flask. And like I said, make sure you do that in the fume hood. So step two, we're going to add 60 milliliters of sodium hydroxide into a round bottom flask. You'll notice the precipitate that forms. And then we'll add 40 milliliters of distilled water to that as well. So in step three, we're going to heat up our round bottom flask and fit it with a refluxing coil. And um, after adding some boiling chips, we're going to allow the solution to reflux for about 30 minutes. So first we pull the heating mantle up so it fits onto the flask. So we'll add a few boiling chips into our flask. And then we'll set up our refluxing coil. Make sure that your coil is all the way down into the neck of your flask and then tighten your clamp around your coil just so it holds the coil in place. We're going to connect the bottom tube onto the tap. And the top tube you can just let flow into the sink. and just make sure it's in the sink and not spraying out everywhere. So we'll turn our Variac control to on. And set the gauge to about 120. And immediately after that, you want to turn your water on. And just adjust the flow so that it's not going too fast and so that it fills your condensing coil all the way to the top. Once the solution starts to boil, we can turn our Variac control down to about 80. So just to recap what we did in step three. We set our heating mantle up so it was around our round bottom flask. And then we took our uh, refluxing coil and fit it right into the neck of the flask and put the clamp in place so it held the refluxing coil. We attached the bottom tube onto the tap and let the top tube flow into the sink. And then we turned our Variac control on and set the gauge to about 120. And finally, we turned our water on to a level just so that it was flowing and it reached the top of the refluxing coil.
So just make sure throughout the refluxing process that your water is flowing at a rate of about this, so it's flowing nicely through the tube, but not too fast so that it's splashing all over because you want to keep the water flowing so that it keeps um, condensing the liquid that's evaporating. After we reflexed our solution for 30 minutes, we let it cool and then we divided it into two equal parts, each in a beaker. So then, in step five in your lab manual, we're going to acidify the solution with some six molar HCl until you see a significant amount of precipitate form. And once our precipitate forms, we can test our solution to make sure it's at a pH of about two. So we take a piece of pH paper and using our stirring rod, we can match our solution to see that it is at a pH of about two. So in step six, we acidified our solution with six molar HCl until precipitate formed, and then we checked to make sure the solution was at a pH of about two. In step six, we're going to filter our crystals in the Buckner funnels. So you'll have a setup that looks like this. So to filter our crystals, we add the filter paper to our funnels and then turn the filter on by turning the tap on all the way. And cover the filters with both hands to check to make sure there is suction. And then we'll wet our filter paper a little bit inside each funnel. Once you make sure that you have suction and your filter paper is in, add your precipitate into the filter. And to get all the precipitate out of your beaker, you can just rinse it with distilled water and then pour it into your funnel. <laughs> 